Hello, I'm Patrick Edwards, and this is Nat Geo Wild River Edition. Today on Nat Geo Wild River Edition, it's our very first episode, and right behind me is ruins, possibly of a lost civilization or culture. We'll have to figure out what it means. Right, right to you. We're heading down to the ruins now, and um, Ackwood Lake. It's a pretty nice lake. It's kind of dirty, but still. It's a good lake. Now, I've, I've been studying these lands recently, and I just came across these strange bricks. I don't know what their purpose is or what they're for. Maybe driftwood? I don't think so. Most people would just think of it as that. Driftwood. I don't think so. As you can see, there is heaps upon heaps upon heaps of these bricks everywhere beautiful day out. These bricks, what are their meaning? Well, we'll have to transcribe some of them, see if they have some type of ancient language on them. Maybe be able to find out what this truly means. Some of these bricks seem to be come in all shapes and sizes, such as this one, with many, many rows of different bricks. This one, which seems as if it was ripped off of some type of, some type of house. And that one that kind of looks like those cheap Legos, but from the bottom of it. And there's a nice uh, plant right, right in the middle of all this. Maybe, maybe there's rice, raspberries. But anyways, they come in all shapes and sizes. As you can see, there's one clearly in the dirt or at the sand. And though they do let, they do have a dam somewhere over there, and they let it out every once in a while, and it does wash things ashore. That's not what this is. This is something much bigger than that. So, let's get to transcribe. Here's our first transcribed brick. We'll try to figure it out here. Looks like it says some sort of form of B-O-R-A-L. We might have to, this could be some type of secret code, but for now, we have the letters B-O-R-A-L, maybe Boral. We'll have to find out soon enough. It's like a mountain trying to climb on these things. There's bricks everywhere. But anyways, my point is, there are, uh, we found some more words on rocks. We'll have to transcribe them, of course. But here it is. I had to throw it in. I had to throw it right over here. Anyways, looks like it says F B C. That could have been a misprint. Maybe it's supposed to be F B I. And it looks like it said. An Dard. Could possibly FBI standard. This could be a bomb. You don't want bombs. Well, if this thing blows up, it's not gonna blow up around here. <coughs> Jerk. As you can see, I've walked quite a ways over here, till about as far as you can go, but it seems like there's some type of natural underhang. As you can see over there, it could be a small colony of, I don't even know. It reminds me of those ruins built by, I'm pretty sure, the Aztecs, one of those cultures. They built wa walls and rooms and houses miles long inside these overhangs, but they, they were a lot bigger than this. As you can see, this is it compared to my hand. It's not, it's not that big. But I would investigate closer, but there could be anything in there. I have my theories, and I will post my theories whenever we get back to HQ. But now, I'll, I'll see if I can find any more transcriptions on rocks. There's a non-passerby going by. Nothing to see here, sir. Just a private investigation. Thank you. Gah. Nothing. Throw down rocks. Be able to see if I can find anything. Oh God! Ah! Oh, scary. Well, after uh, many attempts of searching, I I can't seem to find any more of these strange bricks. With any inscriptions on them? Now I'll head back to HQ and give you guys my 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 comments 
and my opinions slash theories on what this could mean. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Well, due to my final analysis, I discovered that this could be remnants of a lost civilization, but I feel like this is so much more. I feel like that this could either be an FBI cover-up of small Aztecs living among the rocks. It could be anything at this point, really. And then there's that strange encoding. The, what was it, tarred? To, to, let's visit that again. It's right over here. Okay. Borel? Hmm. I'll have to do some research on this Borel. I'll go do some research, but, um, as of this point, I feel like this is either an FBI cover-up. From, I can obviously tell that from those evidence of that FBC. It was clearly an I. If you look closely, it was totally an I. And FBI standard brick, but that wasn't a brick, that was a bomb. But it could not have been a bomb. It could have been a bomb set to detonate whenever the civilization found out what was going on. And why they were turning to little people. I don't know. But comment down below what you think the answer to this mystery could be. And I'll see you in the next episode of Nat Geo Wild. I'll see you later.